All right. Thank you very much for joining me once again on this segment of success principles. Now, we we have been taking this series on the train the trying nature of the human person. Man as a spirit has a soul that resides in the body. Man is a spirit and has a soul and lives in the body. So today I want us to look at something that is of great interest, something that is very valuable and interesting, something that is very powerful. And I want us to quickly look at why people do the things they do even though they know more than what they are doing. They know better than what they are doing. And uh, that is going to be um, an eye-opener. I, I believe that it's going to mark a change, a point in somebody's life where the penny will drop. It's going to create a wow moment for somebody. So let's um, quickly take a look at this. Possibly you have heard about this before in one of the teachings I've made already. And uh, But let's flow from, from what we have known already to what we need to know. Now in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26... It says, God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl, the birds of the air, and over the cattle. Over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. That's from Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. So the triune nature of man is created after the triune nature of God. God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that is how God has made man a tripartite being. Man is a spirit like his maker because the maker made him to be like him. And we are going to refresh our memory again about why he had to do that. In Genesis chapter 2, Verse 7, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man. When I say man, I'm talking about human being, male and female, became a living being. So you see the breath from God and that is his spirit. Because God is a spirit. The spirit of God is is from above and then he he breathed that into the clay the body that was formed from the clay from the earth earthen materials this combination is what produced living soul the living soul individual personality now um, god wants us for himself that's what i, I was talking about the reason why God created us in his image, in his likeness, was for himself. You see, many times we are told to follow God because he will do these or that or several things for us. God will make us very rich, very comfortable. He will solve all our problems for us. All those things are wonderful. God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be, you know, to manifest his glory. Uh, he wants us to be the best we can be to his own glory, as his own creation, in his image, in his likeness. God wants us for himself. That's why he made us in his image and in his own likeness. So it is important for us to take note of that. The Hebrew word for spirit is ruach. We've, we've said that before, we've studied this before. But I'm not tired of reminding us the, the spirit in Hebrew is Ruach. 
also wind or continuous all outgoing breath continuous outgoing breath self-existent now that's the kind of spirit we are talking about we're talking about the self-existent spirit imparting his nature his own his own a portion of him into that thing that he molded and that became a living soul um and then romans chapter 11 verse 35 to 36 says or who has first given to him him there is god and it shall be repaired to him who Ever it is that claimed he gave anything to God, it will be repaired to him. For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. No one has ever, no one has ever given to God without God giving to him or her before. God gives and then we have what to give. As a matter of fact, man is nothing except God has made him something. If anyone claims to be anything, I hear people in the course of trying to say, I mean, tell of how fabulous they are. They now begin to take the glory of God to themselves. Oh, they have, they have done that. They have done that. They have done that. They've not asked anybody. They've not, you know, nobody has helped them. God has helped them. Even the self-made millionaires, and of course, I know what they mean. I know they are talking about people who started with next to nothing, who had to be resourceful, and from there they became rich. There are people who have been very resourceful, very creative, and they have not been rich. So, it's not by power, it's not by might, it's not because you are more intelligent or more hardworking. It is something that you should thank God. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge God, for without Him you are nothing. Now, so is a hebrew word the hebrew word for soul is nefesh first breathe in then out dependent upon the spirit the first breath into man and then he breathed out the first ever breathe in and out for man came from god so we can contrast that with first corinthians chapter 15 verse 45 and so it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. Living soul and a life-giving spirit. Well, that's where we are going to stop for now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next edition. So watch out for the next one that is coming. And God bless you.